and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical yeah, therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion. You threw me off because you had such good posture. Well, Bob, I'm, like, I'm I gotta, working on it. I got to compete with that. Okay, chest pain. Is it costochondritis and how to self-treat? This is a serious issue. It is. Not one to be taken lightly by any means. But right. before we talk about it, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit, Pain Free, and we upload it every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels and our, go to our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. Not today, starting tomorrow on Sunday. Okay. We have a new contest starting. Yep, always Sunday's the start. Yeah, yep. And uh, it's also on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Go to uh, Instagram and Twitter if you want a shorter version of our program. There you go, Bob. Okay. Chest pain. Yep. Now, chest pain, obviously, uh, a, a lot of people get it. It's it's amazing as you get older. Uh, it can be from indigestion, indigestion, musculoskeletal. But the big one is it can be a heart attack. Right. And if it is, obviously it's very serious. It can be fatal, and you need to get that checked out. So if you do have chest pain and you're feeling it, you got some shortness of breath, you got to go in. You got to go in, right. even if you went in before. You know, you got to go in because you've you've been through this, right, Brad? I've been in. In the last seven years, I've been in three times to the emergency room because that's the only place they'll take me or anybody. If you got chest pain, they say, go to the ER. And every time I go there, they send me back saying, your heart's just fine. It's musculoskeletal problems. And the first time I was in, I asked the doctor. He couldn't give me an answer. He was honest. He said, this is, all we know is it's not your heart. You're healthy. Uh, you know. That's that's sure. that's what the ER is for is to keep you alive. <laughs> right. So they sent me out the door and you know a thousand dollar bill, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but it made my wife happy too. Right. That uh, that we did it. She'll so, be around for a while yet. Right. So you need to get that ruled out first. Once you do that, like I did, and I'm a therapist. He, he says musculoskeletal. I'm thinking well, I should know that. That's what I do for a living. Right. Uh, and I didn't know. So did some research uh, and found out uh, there was a therapist is. Is he from Australia? Yeah, New Zealand, I believe. Or New Zealand. It, Anyways, he had a nice video. It was pretty, it was geared more for a therapist. Sure. He, he talked about why you get costochondritis. And he's talking about things back going on in yep. the back where the ribs connect to your back. And so, anyways, long story short, we figured out and we've got a device or some other options you can do to self-treat. Now... Before we get on to that, if you have chest pain, you've been to the doctor already, and you want to find out, is it costochondritis? Here's a couple of things that may indicate it. If you do activities, like with me, I was throwing a football real hard, trying to get it, playing with the kids, you know, and uh, doing things I used to do 30 years ago and trying to do them now. But that irritated where the costochondritis, it actually happens where the ribs connect to the sternum. There is a juncture there that is cartilage, and that can get arthritic problems in it and cause pain. So if throwing a football, the chest muscles pull on it. Another one, I was on my exercise ball doing exercises, putting pressure on there. And most recently, I was working in my house under the kitchen cupboard, and I put my chest right here so I could go up in there. Interesting. Put, yeah. And actually, Tuesday, I was making the video for some glute exercises. And I'm getting this chest pain. It's like, oh, not this again. I'm not going. I was just into the doctor two months ago, the same sure. thing. And I thought, I got to get this figured out. And the last time I was in the doctor, and I'll listen to this closely, they'll always palpate oh, by they feel on them. Right. And I've had two doctors do it and nothing. This doctor was more detailed, and he did a better job. And he's going each rib right by the sternum, and he hit one spot about the size of a penny, and it about sent me through the roof. I says, don't touch there. <laughs> and, and so I started doing it. It was like very painful. And two days ago, Tuesday night, it was down lower. And that's where my chest pain was. It was lower. I could touch that. It, it was painful. So, oh, well, that made me feel good. Because the right. doctor said, if this hurts more, it's probably not your heart after they did the EKG. Right. Now. And you had just done the EKG. Right. So, right. Yeah. So I thought, I've got to get the back pod yeah. to do this. This is a treatment for it. I didn't have one. Right. It was at Bob's house. It's at my house. I've been using There it. was one here in the cupboard. So <laughs> yeah. I went for, you know, you can use a tennis ball, 
I knew I needed something bigger like the back pad, which we have here. So I, I grabbed the softball. You could try either one. This is going to be a lot more aggressive, and it's a little uncomfortable. But you need to do this on the floor. Carpeted floor is best. Your bed won't work because it's too soft. So the thought process is, is that your, your rib cage goes right around like this. Yep. And the ribs are tight in the back. So this one is overworking in the front. Is that a simple way of saying it? Yeah, Brad? and he talked about a hinge. Yeah, uh, yeah, the bucket analogy, the yeah, bucket handle. Yeah, one way or we another. We don't need to go into that. I mean, you're gonna have to trust us on this one. You need to stretch out the rib cage in the back and right. put pressure on it. And um, I'm gonna tell you that to me, this feels very similar to the back pod if yep. you put a, a towel over the tennis ball. Yep. But I have had people say it was too much. Um, so sometimes they put a pillow over that even, Brad. Sure. Yeah. Or they put a pillow under their head too. But um, I like the back pod. It is a pricey device. That's why I'm, I'm telling you this alternative. Right. But it's just it, it just fits really well and it works really well. And I, I, I use it every morning while I'm doing my hamstring stretches. I just go up and down my back. It's really good for posture. I mean, I'm sorry. I spit on you. I hate my eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, I uh, hope you're okay, Bob. Have you been yeah. checked out? There we but go. Anyways. Um, yeah, so can can we go off and go back to the balls? Yeah, here? sure. <laughs> uh, so Bob doesn't have chest pain. He's doing it for postural reasons. Right. So there's more than one right. reason for it. So you put the ball down. You're going to work not on the spine. You probably really want to show on me, Brad. Yeah. You, you, you want to go ahead and yeah. take the ball. And so whether, whether you're using – and I actually use a softball, which is more aggressive. So you can use it, but it, it, it's a little uncomfortable. But it's not in the center, not on the spine. It's off to the side, right where that muscle spot is. And you don't want to go on your shoulder blade. Right. It's between the shoulder blade and the spine. So there's a little narrow area. Now, with me, my chest pain was lower, so I worked it lower. If it's up higher in your sternum, you're going to work it kind of across. But you can roll back and forth, and you'll get it. Yeah, I hit like six spots. I mean, I go right down the, on both sides of the spine all yeah. the way down. And I just do it for like, it's probably only thirty seconds or so. Sure. I mean, it, it, uh, maybe a minute, but um, and I'm just laying there relaxed. And right. but a softball, I think, would be too much for me even. Right. So well, yeah, for me, really, yeah, just me a softball. <laughs> I didn't have a tennis ball handy, so I sure. And I wanted a little more aggressive because I don't know. So you can use whatever one you can try if you don't have the back pod, and. I, this is what I did Tuesday night. I got on there, went downstairs before my wife got home and told me to go to the ER, and I start working it, and immediately I felt cre crepitus. In other words, the joints were cracking there. I could feel a crack, 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 and within about a minute and a half, my chest pain was 90% better. And wow. for the rest of it, it was good. And it was fine. And that's the idea is now some of the movements occurring back there instead of just all occurring on the front. So it's spreading it out. It's spreading out the forces. So, so. You, yeah, you can see the the way this is configured. The the back pad it goes right along that muscle group along the spine, and it is more comfortable than yeah. Than it's, this. It, it was made for this. Yeah. Um, we'll have a link down below. Yeah. I mean, this therapist. I know it's not like he's making a ton of money on this. It's just the idea. The, the, we we have seen before what it costs to make a mold, and it's just a very pricey thing to make. And so it, it's a it lot ends cheaper up, than going to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot but all, you, you got to go to the doctor first to rule out or even some pain meds. Because, you know, if, if you go and you, the cardiac, your heart's fine, uh, they don't know what to do with it. They're, they're going to say, well, you know, probably some pain meds, at least right. you know, in the United States, they will. So, yeah, give this a, give this a shot. Anything else you want to say about it, Brad? No, uh, it's, a, it's a really nice device, uh, well devised. So, you know, you've got some options. Yeah, you've got to work some with. less expensive options. You could try those first. And, and uh, if, you know, he had talked about that he actually uses this. Uh, and all the golfers in his uh, oh. club use it now because it gets him a little more turn because he got more mobility right. Get in the that back. Thoracic yeah, I I, res I think it's responsible. I don't have that knot pain anymore. Sure. Um, and I think because I I'm in such good posture in my upper back that it works well for that. So yes. So, all right. So all sorts of benefit. Uh, remember, Brad and I can fix this about anything except for a broken heart. But this is this is yeah, getting, this right getting in the close. We're, yeah, we're this in the is a step in the right direction. We're in the right here. environment now. <laughs>